welcome back to my channel so for today's video I have a really excited one because I'm gonna show you guys how to grow your Instagram the reason I wanted to make this video is because I actually wanted to go live and share like my tips and everything that I have done to grow my Instagram with you guys live on my Instagram because it kind of makes sense but then it was a complete fail I could not get my Wi-Fi to work connection was super bad so I was just like you know what I'm still gonna share the tips I'm just gonna put it into like a cohesive video and hopefully it helps not only my IG fam but my YouTube fam as well or just anybody that comes across this video so in this video the things that I'm gonna be talking about is how to grow your Instagram and how to be potentially noticed by companies whether it's clothes shoes makeup so that they can send you stuff the whole like social media movement now disclaimer I do only have around I think 14,000 followers on Instagram so I know it's not a lot but I have done certain things that have definitely helped boost my following um, and my interaction so this is not gonna be like a, how to get 50,000 subscribers overnight no these are people that you do not buy likes that you don't buy essentially from apps or anything like that no this is real life this is really what I have done to help it grow for the most part a lot of people don't like to share this information because I feel like they feel as if more people are doing it like it's like a competition everybody everybody could come up you know everybody can grow their Instagram get companies to send them stuff so yeah if you're interested on in what I have to say o sea, en mi humilde opinión, <laughs> I'm definitely gonna share that with you guys because like I said I want all of us to come up and there's enough of clothes companies, makeup companies, for everybody, and there's no reason why we have to feel like a competition. No, we can all do this. Girls, even guys, we can all benefit from social media if used correctly. So that's why I wanted to make this video. Enough talking, ya lo que vine, let's just get started into this video. So grab yourself a drink, grab yourself a shot, grab yourself whatever you want, because this might be a little lengthy. I had a lot to say. Um, watch, let me show you guys. So that's everything that I wrote that I'm gonna tell you guys about. Um, so first I'm gonna be talking about how to grow your interest, Instagram. <laughs> Instagram. <laughs> first, how to talk. <laughs> first thing is going to be to be consistent. By being consistent, what I mean is have like a little uploading schedule. Have a set goal like during the week, like you wanna post three times a week or you wanna post every other day or every day if you're really about it. So you have to be consistent when it comes to posting. That's something that I'm kinda, you know, working on myself. I definitely have seen an improvement every time I consistently post. I definitely gain more followers and more views to my Instagram account as opposed to to waiting a week or two which I have another thing that you should do is when you do post switch up what you post um, so do a selfie and then you could do like an inspo picture or like a quote or you could do an outfit of the day or you could show makeup products so don't always be like selfie 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 or just outfit 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 switch it up that way it's not so repetitive and people don't get tired of just seeing your selfies you know what I mean you know that there's some people that do IG layouts like they specifically have like a theme that will be picture quote picture picture quote picture and you know you can see those layouts personally I can't do it if you can do it like girl more power to you because it looks really pretty and it's definitely more aesthetically pleasing I'm not that organized unfortunately but you can definitely do that if that's up your alley for sure the third tip that I have is to bring meaning to your content so what I mean by this is so that people have a reason to follow you there's like a million beautiful banging body girls or guys on Instagram so why would people choose you to follow are you gonna be showing off your style are you gonna be showing off your makeup are you gonna be showing off like food recipe workout videos whatever you want to do just bring content to it for example if you're gonna do makeup post the products that you use so that people if they like something they can get it so now you're bringing meaning to your picture not only is it a pretty selfie but now this girl can grab the same lipstick or use the same products that you use or like your clothes if you you know tell people where you get it or the best sell or the best discount prices whatever now there's a reason for them to follow you as opposed to these people that just post the pretty picture also another big thing is to pick your content this was a little confusing for me because um, my Instagram was first personal use but now that it's become an actual like could actually make money off of this people take it more seriously Pick your content are you gonna do makeup are you gonna do outfits are you gonna do a combination of the both Pick your content and stick to it don't sway from it because then it gets a little confusing kind of confusing for me sometimes because I want to post still like pictures of me and my son but now in the way that I'll do that is if we're wearing cute clothes then I'll post a picture of me and him that way we it still goes with my clothes theme same with you guys if you have like a pet or I don't know your cat that you're obsessed with don't just make it be like outfit outfit make a makeup and then a cat you know what I mean make it cohesive so maybe your cat inspired your makeup something like that to keep it still within the same vibe or the same theme of your Instagram account because you'll have makeup outfit and then your baby you know what I mean so it gets a little confusing but you want your Instagram account to be more like business then definitely so going off of um, your content picking your content now what you want to do is make sure that you have quality content so by this I kind of narrowed it down to four things so the first one being make sure the background is nice 
Second, make sure that the lighting is a bomb. At three, make sure that the picture is aesthetically pleasing. This goes for makeup, this goes for shoes, this goes for your nails, this goes for your outfits. Make sure that it, like, it's just pretty and nice to look at. And four, make sure you have good camera quality. Um, iPhones are bomb. Or if you're serious and you want to invest into a camera, do your research. So those four things will definitely bring quality into your pictures for your Instagram. So just to wrap up the beginning portion of what I just said, always be consistent. Switch up your pictures so it's not as repetitive. Pick your content. What are you going to focus on? And four, bring quality content to your Instagram in hopes of getting noticed. Now I'm going to move into the whole tips and how to grow it and how to hopefully get noticed by companies. Assuming you have the first part down, now we're going to move to the second part. So the first tip that I have for you guys is when to actually post. Now post when you're normally on your phone. So when you wake up during your lunch break, when you get off of school, off of work, or before bed. To me, those are the best times to post, so definitely stick around those schedules. When you're more likely to be on your phone is when I'm assuming other people are more likely to be on their phone. So therefore, more people will see your pictures, hopefully like your pictures, and increase your following. Because if certain people follow your pictures, you're more likely to come out in the recommended or in the search section of your Instagram. Or at least those are the times that I mostly um, post around. Next tip that I have, could have kind of went into your quality content, is to have your pictures nicely edited. So if you guys want to know the apps that I use or the filters or how I just get the pictures, how I do them, it could definitely be a separate video because I don't want it to be doo doo long. It's not important if you have good quality, but it is a tip to get it even better. So another big thing, and I know a lot of you guys know, tag your pictures to anything that is relevant to your pictures. So for example, tag the lipstick or the makeup that you're wearing, tag the store that your clothes is from, shoot, tag the accessories, tag your nail polish color, tag anything that is relevant to your picture the more people you tag more chance you have of them seeing your picture and hopefully liking your picture and your content and your Instagram and reaching out to you that way so another big thing that I know you guys are aware but I just I'm gonna reiterate is to hashtag also just like tagging hashtag pretty much everything again that's relevant to you and or your picture so if you, your picture you have an outfit hashtag OOTD hashtag cute outfit hashtag inspo hashtag basically everything because people do look at hashtags to find follow certain things on Instagram. A big example for me is um, nails. So when I don't have a color or something, I will go into Instagram, do hashtag nail inspo, and I will check everybody's um, Instagram account, and I end up following accounts that I like, because again, all because of a hashtag that led me to this person's account. So don't underestimate the hashtags. Hashtag anything, again, that is relevant to your picture or to you. For example, if it's just a selfie, you can hashtag whatever you want. Like, do you feel pretty? Hashtag pretty. Hashtag bomb as fuck. Hashtag lashes on fleek. Anything that is relevant to your your picture or just you as well like for example I'm Mexican hashtag Latina hashtag Mexicana hashtag the Zacatecas you know everything that is relevant to you or your picture because you don't want to hashtag because it's popular Kim Kardashian they're gonna go to your picture they're gonna be like who the fuck if you just want to gain followers by hashtagging other things I don't think that's fair again this is a to gain real people on Instagram type of thing so definitely don't smooch your buy off of other people I don't agree with that so even if it takes you a little bit longer these are people that are actually gonna follow you and you want these kind of people because they're more likely to interact with you. You don't want people that are just going to just find you randomly and have no idea who you are. Going back to how to get um, noticed or discovered by brands or stores or makeup, whatever, in this realm that I'm talking about, is to buy and actually be a customer of this store, you know? So if you want to get noticed by, for example, OOTD Fash, buy from this store. Even if it's one shirt, one pants, one skirt, whatever, buy from them. Wear it as best as you can or as cute as you can. Tag them and hopefully they'll see your picture and like it if you put what we said at the beginning like effort good lighting quality consistency all that good stuff into this picture you're more likely to get noticed and they'll see that you're an actual supporter supporter slash customer and baby steps you know just because they like your picture doesn't mean that they're gonna send you three hundred thousand dollars worth of clothing another big tip that I have for you guys and this one is one that I kind of I haven't heard people talk about or Honestly, I didn't even check other videos on how to grow your Instagram. I just kind of want to do my own things that are um, things that I have done. And this is a big one. Are you guys ready? So clothing stores, makeup stores, shoe stores, for the most part in their bio, I keep using OOTD Fash as an example. In their Instagram, they'll have hashtag OOTD Fash. Use the hashtags that these Instagram accounts have. So take the time, do your research, look at the accounts, and see if they have a specific hashtag they want you to use or a specific ad they want you to use. Check other featured pictures that they have. Check out their hashtags. Check out check out their ads, incorporate the two into your captions, and that is definitely a good way for them to 
reach out to you or find you or just discover your account in general. Also, bear in mind that you can do ads and hashtags in your IG stories as well. So all of this is relevant um, to not only your actual layout but your IG story as well. So let me let me wrap this up again. So let's let's just say you have the beginning part done. Let's just say you use all my tips and my tricks to hopefully get noticed by other companies and boost your following and all that stuff. Now let's get realistic and let's see like I guess the business side or the reality of Instagram and social media I guess in general. I do not want to discourage you guys by any means but the reality of this social media life is that numbers are important to an extent. So I use that so freaking what is the word? Freely? I want to say people that have more followers are definitely more likely to get noticed by more companies and or bigger companies but 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 good news is is that it is a numbers game so smaller companies or companies with smaller budgets will definitely reach out to people that have smaller following and or the same amount of followings as they have because smaller companies have smaller budgets therefore they don't have the thousands of dollars to pay for a huge Instagram famous person to promote their stuff so they reach out to smaller um, Instagram accounts. It is a numbers game but that doesn't mean that you're completely left out of the game if you don't have 100k on Instagram. Do not be discouraged but you have to be realistic that bigger companies are definitely going to reach out to people that have more following. OOTD Fash reached out to me. They were the first company to ever reach out to me and actually send me products and I did not have a huge following on Instagram. I think I, I I think I was around 7k or 6k something like that and I barely had one or two thousand followers on my YouTube and funny enough they found me on YouTube so that just goes to show you I had 2,000 followers 2,500 maximum at this point when they reached out to me it just goes to show you that they believed in me and I only had again 2,000 followers on YouTube so that says a lot they reached out to me they told me that they really loved my content and my personality and the effort that I put into making my outfits cute that's what they liked and that's what they needed because it kind of went along with their content the fact that they said that to me really really motivated me and it stuck with me and that's why OOTD Fash will always have a special place in my heart hope that gives you guys a little bit of inspiration so to not get discouraged with numbers it is a numbers game but not to everybody with that being said put put time and effort into your pictures and a company will want you to do that for their stuff. Perfect example of what I'm talking about into taking time and effort into your post. For example, when Anastasia sends an Instagram account or this Instagram person, the person showcases for example, a palette. You see bomb lighting because you can see every color when the palette is open. They have music playing in the background. They do the slow-mo so you get a good idea of what the product is. And that is it. They're putting effort into making this product look bomb. So of course they're going to keep sending them stuff because they see that they take the time to showcase their product. Somebody sends you a lipstick and you're just holding it up and you see your plain ass background in the back. There's no music playing. It's just awkwardly there. You just at the store. You don't do any cute hashtags or anything like that. They're less likely to to reach out to you then and again back to the numbers thing people send you maybe a hundred dollars worth of clothes in hopes that it will generate sales so if they send you a hundred thousand a hundred thousand oh bitch where <laughs> if they send you a hundred dollars worth of clothes or products they're hoping that when you showcase it nicely it'll generate a lot more worth in sales maybe double that or three times of that whatever it is that happens they're going to be sending you more stuff because a hundred dollars turn into 500 real quick and of course they're going to want to send you more and of course the more followers you have the more people will see and the more people will buy it so again it is a numbers game now i want to talk to you about like i guess the behind the scenes so realistically speaking yes it does take a long time to do your hair to do your makeup to pick out your outfit to pick a location to take your pictures at to edit your pictures to post your pictures pick the best Time to post and tag add a caption add your hashtags it takes a lot of time be realistic about the time and effort that you're willing to put into your Instagram account like I said it's not only just snapping the picture and posting it no there's like a little science behind the whole ordeal so just be realistic about the time that it's gonna take you it's not impossible and you could definitely manage your time and take advantage of things or certain situations like if you're gonna go to breakfast Wake up a little bit earlier, take the time to make your makeup and your outfit look hella cuter. Go to breakfast with your family, have them take a quick picture or 10. People think that it's super easy and it's just whatever, whatever. You just take pictures and go. No, as I've explained, it does take a lot of time and I guess, like I said, science behind the whole thing. These people that have over 100k or a million on Instagram, they just don't get up and take a picture and go. No, they put in a lot of time and consistency into growing their account. I guess in doing so, now they're able to make a living off of Instagram. So if you and I think I pretty much covered everything that I wanted to talk about, everything that I know. If there is something that I miss or something that you guys do or just other tips and tricks that you have leave them down below like I said girls are 
are here to help one another. There is enough clothing companies, makeup brands out there for everybody. It'd be great to have a mentor or have ideas on how to get started or anything like that. And again, this is why I started my Instagram and I started my YouTube is to help girls. I just want to inspire people and help them and know that anybody could be doing this. Anybody could be living their dream or maybe even if this is not your dream, maybe a side hustle, whatever you want to do. And I just feel like if I have the tools and the power to share with you guys, I most definitely will. And this is just on Instagram, but in the future, I'll definitely do one on YouTube. I just feel like I just didn't know enough about YouTube, but now I'm kind of getting the hang of things. Instagram I've had since I was born, so I was like, you know what, let me just tell them <laughs> I don't have the biggest Instagram account or the best or the cutest or the fanciest, but the things that I have said and the things that I am currently doing are definitely getting my Instagram growing with real people, interactions, real comments, and if you want that and you just don't want the easy way out, then this is definitely the video for you. I hope you guys take all my tips and my tricks and implement it into your Instagram and hopefully you guys see results and hopefully companies reach out to you guys, you know, tag me if they do. I would love to share your happiness. I just feel like I wouldn't be here without you guys, so it's the least I can do. Honestly, you guys inspire me to inspire you guys. That's why I'm here. That's why I'm doing my channel. That's why I'm doing my Instagram to inspire you guys. I know it's just with makeup and clothes, but hopefully I'm giving you guys the confidence to pursue what you really want to do in life. Maybe it has nothing to do with Instagram or YouTube, but you know what? The fundamentals of, you know, dedication, determination, if you at least take that, Yes, gonna yeah. This whole talking about Instagram and I didn't even tell you guys. Well, if you guys want, follow my Instagram down below. I will also have um, my Snapchat or my Twitter down there if you guys are interested in following me as well as my other social media. If you guys did like this video or found it useful or helpful in any way, shape, or form, definitely don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. Also, if you haven't subscribed, don't forget to do so. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Until next time.